All right, you know, one of the best legal weapons that you can carry as a younger person or an older person or any for any self-defense that you can carry almost legally anywhere is a cane. So I wrote a book, and I did some nice videos on cane jiu-jitsu, and this book has a lot of really good cane techniques, and I want to share it with you because a cane is just a terrifically powerful self-defense weapon, and you can do an awful lot of damage with it. You know, the cane... Is if you are crippled or handicapped, the, the cane is legal to carry into anywhere in the world. So it's a very great weapon that you can carry. It's it's legal. You can carry it almost anywhere. It's easy to use. It's really hard to block. It's very effective against other weapons. It can be used by old men, and women. It doesn't require a lot of strength. And you know it looks pretty cool if you have a nice cane. So if I suggest all the uh, ladies and older people in this audience and and carry a cane, or if you don't want to carry a cane because you don't want to make you look old, carry an umbrella. So let's learn some techniques with the cane from some basic blocking techniques, and then we'll expand it in some uh, more defensive techniques and stuff. Here someone is going to strike me or hit me on the head. I just simply raise up my cane, and I'm going to hold it with both hands, and I'm going to block it. So he can't, you know, this, these canes are not soft wood. This is not like soft wood like you have in a broom, a cheap broom or something. This is a very strong piece of wood there, and it'll block his hand. It'll block his strike. Now, after I block it, I'm going to continue with a motion so that I'm actually taking the end of the cane and I'm going to hook it onto his arm. Now, you see, I've blocked it. Then I'm going to slide it down and I'm going to hook it onto his arm. Now, I could kick him or punch him or something or I can just turn it back around and flip it up behind his neck. And from there, I can give him a nice knee in the head. If it's behind his neck and you got that hook of the cane behind his neck, it's very, very hard for him to escape. It's very, very hard for him to, to get loose. And you have complete control. When you put a cane around behind his neck, it's very easy for you to do a easy finish. I can knee him right in the face. And I can pull him down as hard as I want because, believe me, when the cane is wrapped around the back of his neck, he just doesn't have any defenses against me stopping him from yanking him down. All right, let's look at this one. Now I'm going to take the cane, and I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to block his left arm and pull it down. Then I'm going to continue downward, press it, and I'm going to roll it over. Now, this is a little tricky. When I have his cane, my cane wrapped around his arm, if I take his wrist and push the cane into it and pull the cane over, I can actually break his arm. So what I've done here is I've hooked his wrist, now I've lifted it up, and I can take it and pressure it and bring it back down and actually break his arm with the crook of the cane. So it's a real nice little technique there with the cane. Here I'm doing a block with the cane. He's punching or reaching towards me. I block it, and then at the same time I block it, I take it and flip it out and smash the other end right into his side of his head or right into his eyes, right against his teeth. So it's real easy for, for me to do. Then I can take that cane down and smash the hook right into his groin. And I can lift up on that, and that'll do a lot of damage. Then I can come up and finish by smashing the end of the cane right on the top of his head. So I blocked, popped him in the face. Boom, lifted up and popped him in the groin. Bam, came back over the top, smashed him on the top of the head. Real nice four-combination cane technique. Here... He's trying to get near me, and this is a very important technique for you to learn when you're doing cane jitsu. As he starts to reach towards you, take your cane, flip it up, and, and step into him and jam it right into his face. You can take it and jam it right into his face. And, that'll, and, that, and that's a hard stick there. And it'll pop his eyeball. It'll break his nose. It'll knock his teeth out. Then I come back, pull it back, and jam it right into his stomach. Just jam it right into his gut. And that does a lot of damage to him. Then I can take it and jam it right into his knee. It, where the power comes is I have it in my hand. I'm bracing the cane because it's got an end on it so I can hook it against my hand and I can get a lot of grabbing or jamming power. And I take it and I jam it right into his rib. Now I can also take it and hook him under his leg. I can take it down and flip it down and hook it right under his leg. And when I hook it under his leg, I can lift his leg out. And if he's not flexible, that's going to put enough damage in him to end the fight or end the attack. I hook it under his leg and lift it out. But watch. 
what comes next because this is going to make him think twice about bothering old people or bothering a crippled person or someone who's walking with a cane. After I've pulled him to the ground by yanking his leg up, I'm going to take the cane and smash him right in the groin. Well, that ought to put the end to his aggressive behavior for a while. So I bring up the cane, both hands, and smash it right into his groin. Now we're going to learn a little technique here where I'm going to take the cane and I'm going to block it. And now I'm going to flip it over and smash it right into his groin. And then I came up, come up with it and smash it right into his head. So I blocked, flipped it into his groin, came up, flipped it into his head. Then I hook it around his head and watch this. So you see me pop it, hit him on the side of the head. See the cane up there in this middle picture here? You can see my little cursor there. I popped him in the side of the head. The point of the cane is over there beside his head. Now I can just simply bring my hand back around, and I'll be hooking around the back of his head. Now when I yep that cane around the back of his head, there's very little he can do to stop me, and all I got to do is pull his head over, and I can snap a kick with my shin right into his face. That tends to end the fight pretty quickly. I pull it down, I snap him in the face, hook him around the neck, and then pull his head over and smash him right in the face. Here, I'm taking the cane and I'm going to jam him right in the stomach. Jam him right in the stomach. Right in there with the butt. Oh, that's going to make him fold over. Then I'm going to step up and hook the cane on the back of his neck again. You know, the main thing we're going to do with the cane, and don't forget an umbrella will do the same thing, is I'm catching him and holding him and keeping him a long distance away from me. So I've jammed it into his stomach. I'm coming up and hooking it on the back of his head, grabbing by the neck, and they cannot stop you. If you put that cane on the back of his neck, he has no possibility of stopping you from doing anything else you want to do to him. Then I'm going to pull him down and yank my knee right into his face. Yank his head down hard, and at the same time, bam, smash my knee right into his face. Real effective, very, very hard to stop. Here, I've blocked him with the cane, I'm hooking his hand, and now I'm taking it and flipping it across and popping him right in the ribs with it. But that's a setup, because I've smashed his ribs, and so that's just setting him up. Then I'm pushing his arm out of the way, and I'm going to bring the cane back, and I am going to take it and smash it into his leg. And I'm going to hook his leg. And watch this. I've taken it and I smashed it down and hooked his leg. He's leaning backwards. Now what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to give him the old groin kick. Can you imagine what happened if you did that to somebody? I grabbed his arm. I smashed my cane against his leg. I hook his leg. I pick it up in the air. Bam! Then I kick him right in the groin. Well, that's pretty deadly. It's pretty effective. So you can see why the cane is such a great weapon for an older person or for someone who's trying to defend himself. Here I'm blocking an upper punch, and then I'm circling the cane underneath. So I watch, I'm blocking it, and I'm taking the cane, and I'm circling it underneath his arm. So I blocked it, I push down, and I circle underneath his arm, and I'll circle it around to his back. Now, when I get around his back, the cane is locked there. Let me go up here so you can follow that. So I circled it. Keep walking. I'm going to go around to his back, and now I've locked it over the top of his head. Now I can reach up. See how the hook of the cane up here? Can you see that hook of the cane? See my cursor there? There's a hook. See that hook? The cane has hooked his arm. So he cannot, why don't he finally straighten his arm? He can't straighten his arm. I've hooked it with the cane. Now I reach up and grab the other end of the cane, and I can just pull him over, and I can literally break his arm. I can break his arm because his arm is not going to continue to stretch. He can't bend his arm. The hook of the cane, so I want you to see it again. The hook of the cane, see that little cursor, that finger pointing. The hook of the cane prevent him from folding his arm. So as I continue to roll it over, it's got to break his arm. And I can throw him all the way to the ground, and then if I want, I can just smash the cane right into his face. Real effective cane technique. Here I'm taking the cane, and remember, I don't want him getting close to me, folks. I don't want him grabbing me unless, he, unless I can't, I didn't know he was coming. I'm jamming that cane hard as I can, right into his gut. <clears throat> That's going to knock his breath out. 
Then I'm going to take it up and hit him right in the ear, right on the jaw with one side of the cane. It's just like taking a little baseball bat and bop him, hitting him in the head with it. And I'm going to bring it back down and boom, hit him on the other side. So I go wham, swing it back up, wham, hit him on the other side. That tends to slow him down a lot, but watch the finish here. I'm going to take that cane and I'm going to look where it was before so you can see it. I've hit him once, bam. Hit him twice, bam. Now I simply step forward and drive the hook of the cane right into his teeth. That will knock his teeth out. I can also jam it in there and hook the side of his mouth. But I'll just take that cane, I can jam it and stick it right into his eye. But I'm taking the end of that hook and I'm jamming it right through his teeth. I'm jamming it right through his face. Believe me, that hurts. I can also take that cane, and you look right there, I'm actually sticking it inside of his mouth. He didn't have any choice, folks. That's a hard piece of wood. Press on your lips right now while you listen to this. Just push on your lips with your finger. It hurts. Can you imagine what happens if I hit you with a stick in the mouth? With the hard end of a stick? You're going to open your mouth. Then I can stick that cane in there and rip your mouth right out. Oh, it's not nice. Well, it's not nice. He's trying to kill me or hurt my family or take my money. So now I've, he's trying to reach and grab me. I pop his arm. I pop his arm with that cane. He stop it. Then I lift it up. I pop his arm, hit him right about the right on the top of the forearm. I lift it back up and slap him in the back of the head. Bam! Stop it. Wham! I hit him once on the arm. I pick it back up. Bam! I hit him on the back of the neck. Now that hurts, but that ain't the finish. Now I take the cane and smash it into his throat. And then I can make a hook. If I smash it into his throat, bam, and yank it. So this is a real nice technique. I go, bam, I hit his arm. Lift it up, bam, I hit his right in the side of his face. Now I continue up, just sliding my hand up. Bam, I hit him right in the mouth with that cane. And then I take that cane hook, hook it right on his throat, and rip his throat out with the cane. Pretty easy technique, folks. Here, I'm going to, he's trying to grab at me. I step to the side, and I take that cane, and I poke him in the ribs. Ugh! It hurts. Take a sharp stick. And that cane does have a, 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 an edge on it. Poke him right in the ribs, but I'm still holding his hand. Now watch this. I now come up, and I simply flip the cane over his arm. You can see my cursor here, see? I flipped it over his arm, flip it over his arm, and then I put it around his neck. So I popped him in the ribs. I just lean the cane up and fold his arm backwards. When I fold his arm backwards, I've got him right on the throat. And all I got to do is continue to put pressure, pushing on his arm and pushing on the cane. He'll throw him right to the ground. Look, this, this is an 80-year-old person can do this. You jabbed him in the ribs. You hit him on the arm. It folds his arm, and then you put it on his throat. Now, I have an awful lot of pressure here. You know the, the law of leverage. I've got a, you know, a four-foot stick in my hand and his arm bent, and I'm pushing my arm and his arm against his throat. He is going to fall down, and I can finish and stomp him out there if I want. Here, I'm, I'm, he's punching out. I've stepped to the side, and I'm blocking with both hands with the cane. Now I'm going to take it and push the cane. You see my little cursor? I'm pushing the cane and grabbing it onto the, his right wrist. See the cane, see the hook of the cane right there, right under this floating little finger. Right under there, you see the hook of the cane in my right hand. I'm going to take that and simply hook it around his wrist. Look, I just follow that finger down. It disappears once it gets in the picture. I'm going to hook it around his wrist. And then I can take that wrist and pull it <coughs> around the back of his neck. Now his hook there, he can't get loose. I can take it and yank him down to the ground. I can take him and yank him down to the ground. So this is a real nice technique if you learn. I've stepped outside. I have just hooked this finger, hooked this finger, hooked the end of his hand, his wrist, with the cane. Then I pull it up around his neck. So I'm, I'm just looping it around his head, pull it up around his neck. Now all I have to do is push the cane to the ground. He has no choice but to go to the ground because the pressure is too great on his wrist. The pressure is too great on the back of his neck. It'll push him right to the ground. When I push him to the ground, I want to be nice or I want to be mean. I still hold his wrist with the cane. If I want to be nice, I stomp his face. 
That's if I want to be nice. If I want to be mean, I stomp his throat. Remember, this is a guy attacking an old man or a cripple and trying to do terrible damage to him. So there's no reason to be nice. You don't want to throw him down and let him get up. Throw him down, thump him on the ground, stomp him in the head, stomp him in the throat. That'll end the, that'll end the punk's fight.